Hello, Commanders. It's Commander Bloody Nutter here. I'm just orbiting the star, just filled up on a full tank. And uh, I thought I'd just show you a quick tip. I just happened to have landed in a binary star system, and somewhere in here, I go to my exploration uh, navigation, you'll see that there's lots of objects in this uh, system. Um, but there is one uh, 326 thousand light years away and there'll be a star with lots of stuff orbiting that and if we just go to our system map we can have a little look okay so there's two stars in this system and this one is the one that's obviously 300,000 light seconds away now if you don't have an advanced discovery scanner it's going to be quite difficult to find this star I'm going to give you a little tip to show you how you can easily find any binary star systems stars okay it's straightforward um, so this is where I'm going next anyway as you can see there's a black hole there that'll be interesting um, but before I go there um, at the moment I don't know where that other binary star is um, I mean I've got an advanced discovery scanner so I, I could go and select it and go and find it but I'm going to show you a tip and this is it go back to your binary system that you just walked into and reselect it okay it's not selected at the moment the one that's selected is that black hole system up there okay um, but I'm going to reselect the one that I'm currently in. Okay. Now I've selected that. What happens is it will highlight the center of this system. Um, so you see I've got the explanation mark there. And then I'll just use the compass. And I'll just get that. kind of move away from the sun a bit. And get that compass to line up with the center of this system. Now look at that. The center of this system is 101,000 light years away. Sorry, light seconds away. <laughs> glad it's not light years but if you look beyond that center point you'll see that there is indeed a star let's get above these orbit lines so you can see a bit clearer which is another trick by the way for identifying planets is get above the orbit line uh, of all the uh, planets you can see I'm now going above the orbit line and you can see planets there I'm not bothering exploring or scanning these little planets I, I really can't be bothered uh, it's just not worth my time after doing lots of exploring, and I'm not mapping this, I'm just trying to get to a couple of points that I'm interested in. But now as we move up, above the orbit lines, get that out of the way, uh, you can now see what I'm talking about. There is the center that's highlighted now of this system, 100 light seconds away now, 100,000 that is. But beyond that, you'll see that there is an orange or red looking star. Um, because of the way that this works, and that's a binary system, if I was to fly through the center of this system where it's highlighted now, I know that I'm basically 200,000 light seconds at least away from that other star. And if I go and select it now, uh, there it is. Okay, select that. Look at that, I'm flying straight towards it. So even though you don't have an advanced discovery scanner, you can still find stars a long, long way away in a binary system. Hope you found that useful. Uh, I'm certainly not going to fly all that way for a couple of puny little planets. I've got a black hole to go to. But anyway, I hope you found that interesting. And uh, so, until next time... Where's my black hole? There it is. Until next time... I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, fly safe. See you later, Commanders.